Hi guys, I'm Dean and welcome back to another edition of The Inebriologist. So this week I seem to have uh, one of the last bottles of it in existence. So the beer I'm going to be drinking this week, it's the Motley Brew, also known as uh, Otley Leaven. And that's coming in at 7.5% uh, ABV. So uh, it's another Otley beer. I've had this beer before. Um, it's quite an amped up sort of uh, beer. Um, it's it's like a really hefty American IPA. Uh, or it's like Otley's version of what their double IPA is. I remember drinking this uh, plenty of times. And it's just, it's always tasted really, really good. But I believe uh, when Otley were doing this beer, they kind of done it in 500 milliliter bottles, like what this one is, uh, even though it's quite a strong beer. But uh, yeah, really good beer. Well, I just hope now that, that this is going to taste really good as well. Uh, I've had I've had this for the better part of uh, nine months, uh, so I'm going to pour it carefully. There's probably going to be a bit of sediment on the bottom. Another great beer from Otley, but yeah, sadly doesn't... Uh, Sadly, doesn't exist anymore. So, uh, time to get into a glass and see what we got. Oh, yes, yeah, so this is quite a strong beer. Seven and a half percent, five hundred ml bottles. So it's, uh, yeah, I quite like it like that. You know, if it's, uh, I do like to drink a pint. Let's be honest. Yeah, so time to get in the glass. I just forgot to say as well. I'm going to be using uh, just like it's a small little half pint glass. Um, it's from the Passchendaele, I can't remember the name of the brewery now, but they do Passchendaele. I think it's the brewery Van Honsbroek who do Castile beers, uh, yeah, and, and they do the, the Passchendaele uh, beer as well, which I've had before, it's quite nice. So it's kind of like a really nice sort of, uh, um, yeah, I'm not going to go into it, I'll, I'll, that's, that's for another time. So, yeah, here we go. So you can tell from that straight away it's um, heavily carbonated. It's quite clear as well actually for, uh, for a beer like this. You can see quite a few of the bubbles going up the side. The, the head on it is actually sort of like a slightly off-white colour. Not exactly tan but it's, um, yeah, it's off-white. Looks really attractive. It looks quite similar to what you get with um, like an amber ale really. You know, it doesn't look, it's, I suppose it is an IPA but it looks a little bit more like a, an amber ale or something like that, you know. But yeah, the colour on it is uh, like a nice sort of rich caramel toffee colour. But yeah, it's got like this sort of like red hue through it as well if you look up to the light. I haven't got my usual spotlight thing but there to actually see the beer properly, but hopefully this will uh, look okay on camera. But yeah, it's a, it's a lovely colour on it. And yeah, as I said, it's quite clear. There probably be, will be a little bit of the, the sediment that you get in the bottle, so maybe when I add the rest of it later, it may be a little bit hazy, but for now this is yeah quite clear. So time to get a bit of a bit of a smell then. Oh, oh yes, I remember that smell so well. That smells so rich. It smells. It's such a rich smell. It smells of raisins, dark fruits, um, toffee, caramel. That really dense sort of candied sugar smell. And I can smell a little bit of the hops, but not too much. I think it's more to do with the malt is probably the um, the showstopper in this, you know. It's because um, the, the the smell of it, of, of the malts is incredible. The smell of it is not too uh, dissimilar from like a Belgian triple. There's a lot going on in that, a lot going on. Uh, it's mainly those sort of dark fruit flavours, uh, or sort of dark, dark fruit smells, raisins. And it does help with the carbonation sort of lifting those sort of smells as well so you can smell a lot more when you do swirl it around like what I'm doing now but it smells yeah it smells really really good so uh time to dive into this again because I'm really looking forward to trying this again so uh cheers everybody oh that's incredibly sweet wow yeah that that is that's very rich it's very sweet very rich um can definitely taste all those sort of caramel toffee flavours in there, uh, that sort of candied sugar sort of uh, taste, uh, smell, but it's you could definitely definitely taste that candied sugar in there, uh, which has got that sort of slightly caramelised uh, sort of flavour. With the hops, I can taste a lot of the hop bitterness in this, it's like as if the, uh, the hops have been in the boil for quite some time, 
it's got that lingering bitterness right at the back, which I which I quite like anyway. You know, it's kind of very similar to when you if you eat grapefruit or if you do drink like grapefruit juice or something like that. You know, it's like it's got that sort of uh, bitter, slightly tannic sort of thing going on in the back of the throat. But uh, yeah, that's that's a lovely beer. That's that's really good. If anything, I think this is probably a little bit too bitter. Uh, I remember having this beer when it was on. It was yeah, basically peak condition. Uh, when I had it on cask and uh, and from the bottles when I had it a while ago but you know I've had this on my shelf for probably nine months now so you know usually with IPAs or double IPAs and that sort of thing you know you don't really you don't really age them uh, you know they're, they're meant to be drunk quite fresh uh, so this has been you know in the bottle for quite a while but yeah so maybe that maybe that could have been a contribution to it why it tastes uh, quite bitter uh, but yeah, all those flavours are sort of intermingling together. I quite like that. Um, but yeah, for me, it's probably a little bit on the bitter side. But again, that's probably me just keeping it in the bottle for too long. And I should have drunk this a while back. But but there, but there we go. It does also have like sort of that um, sort of spicy edge to it. Sort of um, not in the sense of like any sort of cinnamon or anything like that. It's got a little bit of that peppery edge towards the end. It is a nice sort of quenching beer, but it does sort of uh, coat the inside of the mouth is quite sort of cloying but again you know I think with the hops and everything they've probably put in this they've probably put quite a lot of hops so with that sort of resinous cloying uh, thing going on you know that's why it's it's just a little bit bit too much on the palate you know so the score I'm going to give uh, this beer this week uh, because it is a classic Otley beer you know and I've had this better before so on the basis of that uh, you know, I'm going to give this beer, you know, the benefit of the doubt. Um, I'm going to give it a four or a five because it's, uh, you know, it it does all that, it does have all those really great flavours that you do get in a, a double IPA. But yeah, and and again, you know, it's when I had it before, it was, it was spot on. Uh, it's just because it's in the bottle. It's uh, what I've basically left it on my shelf for like nine months. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great beer. Highly recommend uh, for anybody to try this. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more beer videos and I shall see you very soon. Yechida.